everyone. My name is McCade Marshall with MLM Publishing, and this is Word of the Week. Word of the Week is a short video we shoot every single week for our readers and viewers from all over the world. So thank you for tuning in today. At the end of this video, if you enjoyed this message, I encourage you to share it with your family, friends, loved ones, and co-workers. You can do that by copying the link to this video and pasting it into your email and also onto Facebook, Twitter, and all your favorite social media sites. So make sure to share the good news at the end of this message. Also, I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com that you can subscribe to for all our latest videos. And the channel is just my name, McCade Marshall. You can also subscribe to receive Word of the Week every Sunday evening in your email inbox by going to mccademarshall.com, clicking on that Word of the Week tab on the left, filling out the form there, and we would be more than happy to add you to our emailing list. So make sure to check all that out at the end of this message. All right, well, the Word of the Week for this week is Goshen. As one of God's children, you have supernatural protection and favor surrounding you. Every day, there are a million things that could go wrong around you. However, many of these things never come near you because you have God's hand of protection over your life. In the Old Testament, we read about how God displayed great signs and wonders in the land of Egypt when he was freeing the Hebrew people from slavery. God used Moses and his brother Aaron to deliver a message to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, who was oppressing their Hebrew kinsmen. Exodus 5 verses 1 through 2 tells us, After this presentation to Israel's leaders, Moses and Aaron went and spoke to Pharaoh. They told him, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Let my people go so they may hold a festival in my honor in the wilderness. Is that so? retorted Pharaoh. And who is the Lord? Why should I listen to him and let Israel go? I don't know the Lord, and I will not let Israel go. The tension between Egypt, the Egyptians and the Hebrews grew exponentially when Moses and Aaron confronted Pharaoh for God's instructions. The scriptures say that God intentionally hardened Pharaoh's heart in order to demonstrate his power. God sends the ten plagues we read about in the book of Exodus, chapter 7 through 11. What is notable about the ten plagues is the plagues never hurt God's people. Exodus 8, 22 through 24 says, But on that day I will deal differently with the land of Goshen where my people live. No swarms of flies will be there so that you will know that I, the Lord, am in this land. I will make a distinction between my people and your people. This sign will occur tomorrow. And the Lord did this. Dense swarms of flies poured into Pharaoh's palace and into the houses of his officials. Throughout Egypt, the land was ruined by the flies. The land of Goshen is the land where the Hebrews lived in Egypt. Goshen was the land Pharaoh gave to Joseph and his family centuries before. Pharaoh told Joseph in Genesis 47, 6, choose any place in the entire land of Egypt for them to live. Give them the best land of Egypt. Let them live in the region of Goshen, and if any of them have special skills, put them in charge of my livestock too. In the beginning, Pharaoh was good to the Hebrew people. However, over time, the Egyptians began to enslave the Hebrews as they began to thrive and multiply. The Israelites became a threat to Egyptian reign. At least that is how the Egyptian rulers saw it. When Israel was in the land of Goshen, they were dwelling in the best of the land. They were dwelling in a place of prosperity and abundance until they became enslaved years later. Whenever God began to pour out his power through the ten plagues, Goshen was immune to these supernatural plagues brought on by the hand of God. In the same way, as followers of Christ and servants of God, when we yield our lives and our hearts to the Lord and to his word, we are spiritually 
in a safe place. Figuratively speaking, we are dwelling in the land of Goshen. The land of Goshen is where disease and disaster must stop. The land of Goshen is where God's people dwell. The psalmist says in Psalm 91, 5 through 11, Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. There is a supernatural hedge of protection around you. When you make up your mind, you are going to dwell in the land of Goshen. Living in the land of Goshen means you are declaring the promises of God over you and your loved ones. Living in the land of Goshen means you are going to church and learning as much as you can about God and growing your faith. As the judgments and wrath of God comes down on earth, as nations unravel, markets upheaval, and the troubles of this world come in these last days, you can stay at peace and in faith because you know by the Spirit that you are living in the land of Goshen. There is a commanded blessing, a commanded place, protection, and supernatural peace that you're entitled to as a believer. Just as the Jewish people were unharmed by the plagues on Egypt brought on by Pharaoh's disobedience to the Lord. So you are going to be honored and rewarded by God in due season. As you consciously make the decision to choose life by honoring God and his word, his blessings are going to rain down on your life. As a believer, you have been marked by God in the spiritual realm. Angels are on assignment, ensuring that you make it to the next step in life. You are not going to miss what God has planned for you. You are going to live in the best of the land. You are going to dwell in the land of Goshen. Well, I just want to pray over you really quick that you would get this message deep into your spirit about Goshen. So wherever you are, if you want to just bow your head and close your eyes and listen along as I pray, over this message. Father God, thank you so much for everyone who is listening and watching right now. Thank you for encouraging our hearts by reminding us that we can remain at peace knowing we are in a place of spiritual safety. As we spend time with you, surround us with your awesome presence. Release blessings, favor, and turnarounds in our lives. Lead us to the better land. Cause us to rise up higher and do our best in all that we say and do. Remind us of the favor and distinction we have as children of God who dwell in the land of Goshen. Cause the ground under us to be blessed. Open the hearts of our friends and loved ones to receive your truth. Give us grace to accomplish every good purpose you have ordained for us to fulfill. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, I want to tell you the first step to experiencing more of God's goodness and love in your life is by first accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus tells us in John 14, 6, that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through him. Jesus came to the earth some 2,000 years ago, and he died on the cross for the sins of the world. He did this so that anyone who comes to him can be forgiven of all their sins, past, present, and future. He died on the cross and rose from the grave so that we wouldn't have to spend eternity in hell, but we could be with God in heaven forever for eternity after this life. So if you have never received the free gift of Christ's eternal salvation, would you just say this prayer with me and invite Jesus to come into your heart and be Lord of your life? Wherever you are, if you want to just bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat after me this prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to die on the cross for my sins. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. 
If you just said that prayer, the Bible says that you've been spiritually born again, that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life in heaven. So welcome to the family of God. The next step in your faith journey is to get involved in a good Bible-based church and Christian community so you can learn more about God and be encouraged by other people in your faith. Also, be water baptized as a public profession of your faith in Christ and read the Bible every day. The Bible is the Word of God. Reading the Bible is how we learn more about God and what He says, and it helps us to grow stronger in our faith. Also, pray every day. Prayer is simply talking to God like you would your very best friend. You can talk to God anytime, day or night. He is always available to you. The scriptures say to cast your cares upon the Lord because He loves you, He cares for you, and He wants to be involved in every single aspect of your life. So read your Bible, pray every day, and make sure to tell someone you know that you gave your life to Christ. You can tell a friend, a family member, someone at work or school, or a pastor or preacher. Tell someone you know that is a Christian that you gave your life to Christ so they can encourage you in your faith. We also have a website with a lot of great resources that can help you out as well. And the website is just my name, McCade Marshall. Dot com. On McCadeMarshall.com, you can watch other Word of the Week videos just like this one. If you will click on that Word of the Week tab on the left, you can scroll through over 300 different Word of the Week videos that we have done in the past. These videos are great teaching videos that you can watch, re-watch, and share. You can watch them with a spouse, a friend, a co-worker, or a loved one. Also, I'm a writer, and here at MLM Publishing, we mail out seasonal newsletters every three months to readers all over the world. If you aren't on our mailing list, would you click on that newsletters tab on the left and fill out the form there? We will be more than happy to start mailing you a gospel newsletter every three months. I've authored a few books that you can order on the website as well. My latest book is called why I Stand with Israel. In Why I Stand with Israel, I share seven reasons to support the modern Jewish state of Israel. Another book I wrote is called Finding Your Keys. Finding Your Keys is about discovering the authority you have as a believer. In this book, you will discover 12 different keys, which are spiritual truths that will unlock God's supernatural power in your life as you learn to apply them. Another book I wrote is called Breathe. Breathe is all about God breathing new life into your God-given dreams. At the end of each chapter of Breathe, there are prayers from the scriptures you can pray over yourself and over your loved ones. So it's a great resource for going deeper in your faith. The very first book I wrote is called Tasting the Goodness of God. Tasting the Goodness of God is a 31-day devotional that will help you learn how to spend time with God every day on a consistent basis. If you don't have Why I Stand with Israel, Finding Your Keys, Breathe, or Tasting the Goodness of God, I encourage you to order those books on McCabeMarshall.com, and I would be more than happy to sign those books and ship them to you. All right, well, in closing, I would like to declare a special blessing over you. I declare you are dwelling in the land of Goshen. You are dwelling in the land of spiritual safety and provision. As you seek to keep God first place in your life by reading the Bible, praying, going to church, and singing worship songs, He is causing the blessings of Goshen to manifest in your life. You are going to eat and live off the best of the land. You are supernaturally protected from harm because you have been marked by God in the spiritual realm. You are rising higher and going to new levels of victory like never before. With the Lord's help, there is nothing you cannot achieve in Jesus' name. We love you here so much at MLM Publishing, and we are praying for you every single day. God bless you. Mm -hmm.